here is a review of the Double Tree by Hilton at Breckenridge, uh, which is right next to Peak Nine. This hotel has a great location uh, at Peak Nine in Breckenridge, Colorado. Breckenridge is about two hours west of Denver. Now, it's always taken us two hours uh, to get there from Denver. I have heard other reports that it takes uh, takes quite a while in in traffic, but we have not had that issue. So Breckenridge is a historic mining town uh, from back in the day. And because it's an actual town rather than a uh, purpose-built ski village, it has a local population that keeps things alive during the year. Now, what that means for business such as restaurants and bars and, and the like, they don't have to put their prices up because they're only trading for six months of the year. Uh, so that, that's, that's good. It keeps things at a great value. It keeps things at a reasonable price. So a short history um, of the Doubletree Breckenridge. It was the Great Divide Lodge until 2011. And uh, after a two-year renovation, it reopened for business as the Double Tree. I'm not sure if there have been renovations since 2013. Um, the hotel is obviously an older building, but I think they've done okay with what they have. Okay, so why stay at the Double Tree at Breckenridge? So the biggest reason you stay there is it's right next to Peak Nine. It's a short walk across the road to the actual slope where you can put your skis on and get down to the chairlift. So it's a great location. If you bring your furry friend, then this is a great place to come. What I also noticed, or what I did not notice, was any dog smell. So I saw lots of dogs there, but there was no dog smell, uh, which is great. The cleanliness is great in the hotel, so I was very pleased uh, to see that. Doubletree have hot tubs, which is great after a day's skiing. Now that's not unique to most of the hotels uh, around Breckenridge. A lot of them do have the hot tubs. All the same, it is great to see it there. Their pool is doing either renovations or under service or, or just broken. I'm not sure and I couldn't get a clear answer as to the pool. I know the pool has been closed for over a year now. So before last summer, before the summer of 2021, there is no date for it to reopen. Price is not a reason to stay. Beaver Run, for example, across the road and on the slope is 386 a night compared to Doubletree's 418 a night. Now, Beaver Run also has multiple restaurants and a working shuttle. The hotel shuttle does not work at the Doubletree. Now, I did not see the rooms inside Beaver Run. However, comparing stock photos of both hotels, they appear similar, if not weighted a little bit in Beaver Run's favor uh, for the full kitchenette uh, at the same value room. There is no hotel shuttle at the Doubletree Breckenridge. Whilst the pre-stay letter is a little unclear, what they mean by shuttle is the free service offered by the town, not the hotel. Now, this, is, this conflicts with the Hilton app which advises the hotel does have a shuttle to take guests down to town. Now, I did see many other hotel shuttles shooting around uh, Breckenridge town as well. So I'm not sure if there is a staffing issue or what the actual reason is, but I'm sure they have one. The reception is nice with three fireplaces and plenty of room on level three of the hotel. Ski storage is down on level two. That can be accessed directly from outside and from the two level parking garage. The only restaurant in the hotel is located at the entrance. It has a pleasant feel. It's got a nice bar, plenty of bar seating, some TV screens for sports. It's clean, it has nice furniture, and the menu's not too bad. The maid market has some basic supplies and has the uh, general warm and cold items you, you'll see in most, most hotels. They have a ski store located on level three. You can hire or buy equipment uh, from there. Conference rooms, gyms, hot tubs are all located on level three as well. All the rooms are located on levels four and above. However, note that floors above level six require an elevated transfer. So if you're picking your own room, high is not always better in this instance. Cost. So I stayed last November uh, for a week before Thanksgiving, and that was around 260 a night. Uh, peak 8 was open. I had a couple of chairlifts open for that period. However, parking was $40 a night. Beaver Run across the road is $26 a night. So I stayed in January 2022, and this cost 60,000 points per night. And the equivalent cash rate uh, for this period was 420 a night if you prepaid and got a small Hilton Honors discount. 
Breakfast by far is the best value and most disappointing. At $12 for a buffet breakfast, it's hard to say no, but you get what you pay for. It was filling, but not satisfying. For sure, everyone has different tastes. However, my nine-year-old cooks a better omelette, and that is a fact, not a feeling. Bacon was crispy, hard, and not warm. Cinnamon rolls were dry in the middle, although the icing was delicious. No pastries and a poor selection of cereals, but it's only $12. Dinner looked really good on paper. Nice menu with barbecue meats, burgers, and kids selections. Not all barbecue is created equal though. And if you're looking for good barbecue, the town has better options. The brisket was okay. Pulled pork was dry. Ribs were tough. Burger was really tasty. A great greasy, in a good way. Fix after a day skiing. Only two local beers at the bar though. Very disappointed about that, given the amount of breweries which are around the area. The maiden market last November had five types of local beer. On this week, they only had one. The staff were very friendly, and that's probably my most positive comment. So if I needed nothing but a smile, all was good. That generalization is not entirely fair, so let me break that down a bit more. Bar staff were helpful. Okay, they were knowledgeable on the local product. I overheard a detailed advice from the bartender about things to do around town. So top marks. Made market staff worked as hard as they could, but the volume of customers appeared unmanageable. I noticed the restaurant for breakfast was less than a quarter full when made market had 12 plus waiting. With three plus staff working overdrive, it is almost impossible for them to keep up. The front desk staff had to seek advice when I asked about the shuttle, ski storage, and made market hot food hours. Now those requests were on different times, um, but at each request they had, the person I spoke to did not know the answer. One response when I inquired about a break early ski hours was, I don't know, and that was all. No, I'll find out, let me look into that, just, I don't know, and that was it. Very disappointing. Housekeeping assisted me on many occasions. Fresh towels, coffee, and trash removal are all plus items when there are no regular room servicing. You have to book your room to be cleaned each day. You can't pre-book, you must call each morning. Now, we were lucky enough to have the heating go out early morning on one of the days. By 6 a.m., I was added to a list of people who had complained. At 7.30, the front desk knew nothing, and at 9 a.m., they still knew nothing. At 11.30, and after a dozen follow-up calls, still getting the response, we're working on it, their engineer came to investigate. He provided the detail I was looking for. Some communication was great. Uh, I hadn't had that earlier. He provided me with detail on what had gone wrong. He told me what he was doing to fix it, which gave me comfort in knowing that someone was looking into it. So top marks for the engineer. Now I get that front desk staff are not engineers. I get that they don't always know what the problems are or how they are being fixed. This I understand. However, they are the first point of contact and if you don't know, you need to find out. Right, so in conclusion, I stay at Hilton not because it's a premium brand or I think this day is going to be a ward off experience. Most days are consistent in the cleanliness and amenities. Double Tree serves some awesome cookies, and as my kids don't like nuts, I get their portions. Staff are 99% on the board and ready with information and assistance. Beds are comfortable, the showers work, and the price is affordable. These are all good reasons to stay at Hilton. However, the Double Tree Breckenridge in this case has been consistently poor. Two from two, they have failed to achieve the standards which I've experienced in my years staying at Double Trees or Hilton's. I feel I have wasted my points on this January 2022 stay. I will not be staying at Double Tree Breckenridge again. After declaring my feedback in November and seeing nothing has changed, my money will be going elsewhere.